Our next speaker, Dr. Michael Roberts, has a PhD in physics and has worked at DST for almost 10 years. During that time, he has worked mainly in CBRN, atmospheric hazard dispersion, and radiological defense. Would you please welcome him? Good afternoon. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about the gamma ray imaging prototype that we've developed here at DST. To give you a bit of context about where a device like this might be used, I'd like you to imagine a scenario where somebody has managed to acquire a high intensity radiation source, perhaps from a medical or industrial facility with the intent of carrying out a terrorist attack with it. In fact, they've decided to target this event here and place the radiation source in the ceiling space above you. Now with an intense radiation source, that means that within the time you've been sitting here listening to these presentations, you've already received an effectively lethal dose of radiation for which there's no cure. So within hours, you'd start to feel very sick. Within days, you'd be dead. For people who've been here for a shorter period of time or those passing by, they'd probably also receive a lethal dose of radiation although it may take them a number of weeks or perhaps even months before they die. So this is the problem faced by our defence and national security folk in this space. How do they find, locate and deal with these sources before they're deployed in something like a terrorist incident? So if you look at the current manual search capabilities that are around, they involve equipping individuals such as soldiers with essentially a counting detector that tells them how intense the radiation is where they're located. They'd then scan through an environment looking for the place where the radiation intensity is highest and they'd assume that's where the source is. So that kind of a source is more or less difficult depending on the complexity of the environment, but it does expose the people doing the source not only to dangerous levels of radiation, but also to other hazards that may be associated with the source. For instance, it could have explosives attached to it with an intent to disseminate the radioactive material or you could come into contact with the people who've actually stolen the source. So the device that we've developed here is designed to allow the searcher to stand off at a safe distance. In fact, at a distance where the radiation levels would be very similar to those of the background. And it generates, as you can see in the picture to the left here, a two-dimensional radiation intensity map that we can lay over the top of a visual reference photograph and that allows the operator to see immediately where the radiation source is and develop a plan to deal with it. Um, so the message I'm trying to give here is that there are opportunities available for niche detector development in the radiation space with very much a focus on defence, national security and emergency uh, responder applications. And we're interested in developing partnerships with people who can help us transition this prototype into an operational device. And so the skills we're looking for are people who have experience in data acquisition and analysis, but also software and hardware integration. So if you're interested in talking to us about that, see me here after these presentations or come by the Land Division booth. Thank you.